like your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see So here's my little shop that I've done this week, mostly at the Woolworths, but I did stop at the Coles next door, so we're going to go through that. We have 285 on the bread, so grab three of those. We have a gluten-free rolls. These are going into the freezer um, to slowly be eaten through. And then I got a Cocoa Puffs for $3 for more LCMs and a Rice Puffs for I think 270 or 280 for more LCM. So that was Coles. Now for Woolworths, we got... I had to buy more nappies because the Coles nappies are hurting his bum. So we're not going to be using them anymore. Um, I'll slowly try and use them up one every couple of Woolworths nappies until they're gone. But I had to go and get these. This was the reason for going today. I got meat pies. Hubby's been pulling extra long hours, so I wanted to be able to take these to work and leave them there for him. I went and got mixed veg because Cole's mixed veg is now $4.50. This is still $2.80, so I grabbed that. And because all of these are going up in um, July, I grabbed a peas for $2.70 and a beans for $2.80 a kilo. I got these little freezer pots on clearance for $2 for work lunches. I got, oh sorry, this is Coles too, two juices for, I think it was $2.80. Uh, I'm sick, the kids are sick, so I grabbed two of those just to help. Two milks from the Woolworths, four fifty dollars each. Free fruit for kids. Um, I got this polenta, I think it was $3.80 for two seven fifty. I'm going to make some cornbread, polenta's healthier than cornmeal. A dollar twenty-five. They're completely out of Woolworths branded and Coles branded jelly. So I grabbed just one of these. I'm going to grab one each week or whenever I go past, um, so that Hubby can take these for work for his sweet tooth. I grabbed these for three eighty for Hubby, again for work. Ninety cents for this vanilla cake mix that I can just um, I can do stew some apples and put in. We have two bags of the garbage bags. I got the Coles ones last time. They are so thin, they just keep ripping. So I grabbed these. These are $3 each. I grabbed two because I don't know when I'm going to be near um, Woolworths again. Two eighty dollars for the gluten-free elbows. Really good price. And then the organic beans were all marked down, or on, sorry, on special for a dollar each instead of a dollar fifty, which is the same price as normal. So I grabbed the organic ones. So I grabbed a cannelloni, um, lentils, pinto. My big kid got um, creamed rice for a dollar fifty. I got a dinted lentils for sixty cents and a dinted. Diced tomatoes for $1.40. I'm going to use these this week. These will be fine. They're not good for long-term storage, but they'll be fine for this week. And then I got the kids a $6 thing of Milo for them to have um, before bed. And I'm going to make a Milo wheat pick slice when I can afford to buy some wheat picks. So, yeah, that is my little haul. I'll pop the prices up on the screen and get all this away. So baby's down for his nap and you guys wanna know what I eat for lunch and breakfast and stuff like that because mostly I show dinners just cause that's easier and that's where most of the money goes, I guess. But, and because it's what I eat for breakfast and lunch is pretty boring. So today for lunch, I'm doing leftover curry. This is a pork curry with some carrots, beans, potatoes and cauliflower in it and 
uh, leftover rice. So this is what's going to be my lunch today. And then I'm going to actually um, break this up into smaller portions and freeze it for meals for when hubby's cooking. Hubby cooks once a week or so, um, unless I have a big day or I have a lot of appointments on. Um, he might throw something easy on, but most of the time when he cooks, I can't eat what he's making. So I like to have pre-prepped meals in the freezer, like lamb curry or curried sausages, fried rice, um, stir fries, things like that that freeze really well. And then I can just bust those out, pop them into the microwave. Um, they're also great for lunches. The baby's down for his nap. I can quickly microwave something and then get back to work not spending a ton of time cooking. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm having for my lunch. I'm going to pop that in there and then throw it into the microwave and get back to work. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find this you got me. I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. 